Well, SeaWorld is celebrating a Manatee Appreciation Day in a big way. Yeah, the park is opening up its Manatee Re Rehabilitation Center, and as News 6 reporter Kirsten O'Connor tells us, a lot of folks are excited to see what the park has to offer. Now, this pool is just one area of the five acre rehabilitation center now open to visitors at SeaWorld. The trainers tell us these two that are in the middle of being cared for could be here from a couple of months to a couple of years. It's a new view for guests, but it's an old part of the park for SeaWorld. People say, well, you're just doing this now. You know, the answer is we've been rescuing animals for 50 years. We've rescued over 27,000 animals. Sick, injured, or lost manatees are identified by Florida Fish and Wildlife and brought to SeaWorld to be seen by animal care teams, veterinarians, and several outside agencies that help nurse them back to health. This isn't always just bringing them in. There's times we use this to return them back out to their natural environment. Representatives tell us showing how they care for animals is one of the first steps in the company's new vision called turning the park inside out. The park has been under pressure from animal rights groups since the 2013 documentary Blackfish. This change comes weeks after SeaWorld announced an end to its orca breeding program and its killer whale shows. We asked if the two are related. I wouldn't say it's part of the, the you know, the, the announcement of uh, the last couple of weeks of not breeding the killer whales, but it is part of our, our vision of bringing our back a house forward. As animals are brought in to be rescued, visitors will be able to watch through a live feed as veterinarians rush in to bring them into the SeaWorld Rehabilitation Center. In Orlando, Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.